questions over the timing of Federal's decision to abandon the Wilderness Railway. If there's a sinking fund that was designed to fund upgrading of those assets, then that's public money. If it's public money, it's not secret. Good evening and welcome to ABC News. I'm Peter G. Timing is everything and it's proven to be key in the lease for the ABD Railway. It's been revealed the deal struck with Labor has allowed the Federal Group to walk away just a few years after it began making payments into a secret sinking fund. The fund was meant to pay for major repairs, but the lease agreement means there's now nowhere near enough cash to fix the taxpayer-owned asset. Details of the so-called sinking fund are being kept secret. The state government says the lease it negotiated with the federal group is commercial in confidence. The App Railway, all its assets belong to the people of Tasmania. If there's a sinking fund that was designed to fund upgrading of those assets, then that's public money. If it's public money, it's not secret. We've got one railway, we've got one company operating it. There is no competition issue. The sinking fund was established to cover major repairs over and above routine maintenance on the Apt Railway. When the railway was rebuilt, second-hand materials were used. It's understood the federal group negotiated to only start contributing to the fund about halfway through its 20-year lease. Now they're at the halfway mark, the hotel and gambling giant has announced it's walking away from the deal, citing costly capital upgrades. The operational losses that they were incurring and the massive capital expenditure costs that uh, is in front of us, uh, that was clearly not uh, uh, taken into account when the lease was drafted and therefore uh, all obligations of federal hotels were fulfilled under the lease. That only raises my suspicions even more that this government's mishandled the West Coast Railway from one end to the other. The Infrastructure Department has confirmed the Federal Group has made payments into the sinking fund and the money will be spent on repairs. But it says the balance is significantly less than the millions needed to keep the railway operational. The relationship with, uh, uh, with the Federal Group has been uh, an outstanding one. Most fair-minded people would see that they've, they've made a significant contribution. The Federal Group says it was only required to pay a small percentage of ticket sales into the sinking fund and the major repairs were not foreseen. But it's keeping its report on the cost of repairs and its lease secret. Zoe Edwards, ABC News.